I think it's a team sport, so what's important is to perform as a team. And if you see, you know, more often than not, uh, you know, the contribution from the batsmen and the bowlers, you know, it has come together, which means, you know, uh, not only the top order batsmen they perform, you know, the lower order puts on a fight, puts a price on their wicket and, you know, get us uh, those maybe 40 to 60 more runs. And at the same time, when we need to take a wicket, you know, if a partnership is going on, you know, some of the part-timers, they come up and take that wicket for the bowlers. So I think overall this is what has happened, you know, in, in the last few years, uh, not to forget. So I think, you know, it's playing as a team that's very important and performing as a team, you know, helping each other perform. Yeah. If the opposition takes a big lead, you know, anything over 120 or even 100 runs, you know, uh, it becomes a bit difficult because uh, then what maximize, what maximum you can do is to uh, draw a test match, you know, of course, uh, in the past, there have been instances where the opposition have taken big lead and yet they have lost. But more often than not, when you uh, talk about majority of games, you know, you want to keep the opposition lead to the minimum, you know, as small as possible. So I think it will be a key factor, you know, not to uh, concede too many runs, you know, in the first innings. If we get off to a good start, you know, let's make sure, you know, we get off to a good partnership with batsmen because... You know, it's partnership that's very important. It's not about individual performances, but, you know, if you have 50 and 100 runs partnership, you know, that really helps the innings, you know, go on. We'll try to keep the over rate up. You know, it has been a, a, a problem for us uh, in, in, in the last six months, maybe more than that. So we're trying to sort out the issues, you know, save time wherever we could. Uh, so hopefully, you know, uh, I could feature in the next few test matches before getting banned. We have always come back in series like these, you know, where we have lost the first game. So, again, you know, we're not thinking too much ahead in time about the second, third or fourth test. What we need to do is, you know, break it into small sessions and try to win those sessions. We can't really sit and say, okay, Zahid is not there, but we have to look at the positive, which is, you know, uh, some of the other bowlers will get to have a look at international cricket. Uh, we'll see, uh, we'll give him some time, we'll see how he... Uh, goes through the net sessions today and accordingly will decide, you know, because he's the only person who can judge the right amount of pain that he can go through and, you know, yet be able to perform in the game. The bowling department, if you see, you know, it, it will be slightly difficult for the part-timers to survive, especially in the first inning because, you know, whatever part-timers we have got are, are spin bowlers and it doesn't really spin much, which uh, means, you know, once the batsman is set and if you are uh, looking to bowl them, it will be slightly difficult for them to contain the batsmen or, you know, get wickets uh, quite easily. So that's definitely one area where the bowlers will have to take that extra responsibility of putting pressure on the, ba on the opposition batsmen. And when it comes to the batting department, you know, we've got experienced players in the side, uh, which means, you know, we don't need to worry too much about it. But again, you know, it's not about what you have, it's about what we are doing on the field. So hopefully, you know, we'll, we'll do the right things on the field and you know, we'll look to put uh, good enough runs on the board, you know, for the bowlers.